Hey guys, Mark McKillier here with LiveAnabolic.com. And tonight, I want to show you a really good workout for your abs that's designed for guys over 40. Now, I know we get tired of doing the same old, same old, the crunches, the planks, and so and so and so. You get bored, okay? So, those exercises are fantastic for your core and for building abs, but if you get bored with them, you're just not going to do them. So, what I'm done tonight is I put together a really interesting kind of fun ab workout and that's the hard part is making it fun. So guys, the other thing I want you to notice is you can modify this workout real easily according to your fitness level. So typically what I do is I use a timer when I'm doing these kind of exercises instead of trying to count, okay? You can do the same thing. So. You might want to just do 15 seconds of each exercise with a 15 second break in between. Or if you're in better shape, you can go for a full 30 seconds of each exercise. Anyway, follow along. I got four really fun, different, completely new ab exercises for you guys to do. The first one is called a two leg bounce over. Now, I have a dumbbell right here, okay? You can put anything, all right? All we're doing is putting this down here by our feet and I'm gonna have to lift my feet over the dumbbell. You can put a pillow there, a box, it doesn't matter anything, okay? So here we go, two-legged bounce over. So I'm gonna brace myself, okay, back here with my hands, and I'm just gonna be bouncing from side to side here, and it's fine for your heels to hit the ground, okay? And of course, the taller the obstacle, the harder it is to go from side to side. So what you ought to do is just put your cell phone down there on the ground and turn the timer on and just watch it. Do this for about 30 seconds, or if you can't do a full 30 seconds, that's fine. Stop at 15 to 20 seconds. It'll give you something to shoot for, okay? So write down how long you can do these exercises so that in the future when you come back and do this again, you'll be able to compare your future progression versus where you are starting today. All right, that's exercise number one. The second exercise is very similar, guys. Okay, now this is called a one leg lift over. So this time now, guys, I'm gonna keep my feet in the air. I'm gonna lift the leg over one at a time and then back over, okay? Okay, give yourself a few seconds rest in between. You know, you can catch your breath and a lot of times you're gonna feel a lot of stress up here in your hip flexors. So we're using our core and our hip flexors, okay? Now, the third exercise, I'm gonna be calling a two-legged crunch around. Now, instead of going over the dumbbell, I'm gonna be going around it, okay? So once again, I'm gonna brace myself, okay, with my hands back here. I'm gonna have my feet all the way out, okay? and I'm gonna crunch in and bring my feet around, okay? Hit the ground, crunch in and around. So you can touch the ground, okay? Two-legged crunch arounds, okay? Now finally, the fourth exercise, we're gonna do away with the dumbbell. It's completely different, okay? You need absolutely no equipment for this one. Love this name, it's called a penguin. Oh. All right, so we're just gonna get flat on our backs here, okay? Feet on the ground, knees bent, okay? Then I'm gonna crunch up just a little bit here and I'm just gonna go and swivel from side to side. I'm gonna come down and touch the heel of my shoe here. And so the only way you can swivel is by crunching up and bringing your shoulders up off the ground because if you're laying on the ground here, you get too much friction. You can't swivel back and forth. So you crunch up, okay? And that means all your weight's down here on the lower part of your back and you can just swivel from side to side almost like you're a penguin walking down the street. All right, guys, so that's gonna start burning really quick, all right? So I'm totally fine with you guys stopping 
you know, every 15 to 20 seconds. You don't have to do a minute straight of each exercise. That's not the point here. Point is, stick with it. Because after one circuit of that, give yourself about a 60 second break, okay? You'll catch your wind real, real quick, okay? Because you don't really get out of wind doing this kind of work, but your hip flexors are really gonna get sore. Go back, do it again. Do at least three circuits, guys. And then of course, adjust the time length on every single exercise. So if you can do 30 seconds, great knock it out but i don't think you need more than 30 seconds on each individual exercise stop at half a minute and then move on to the next exercise so if you're in great shape just cut the rest period down but you guys that are just starting out great just shorter periods on each interval okay and longer rest periods hope you like the video guys and also be sure and subscribe to this channel because we are always putting out some really cool fun interesting stuff for you Give us a little thumbs up, like down there, post some comments, and share this with your buddies that you think would benefit from seeing these kinds of videos. And then finally, guys, come on. You know it's not gonna happen overnight, which means you have to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.